Hi friends, welcome to Beautifully Bookish Bethany. In today's video, we're gonna talk about my reading plans for May. Y'all, we are almost halfway through 2022, which is a trip. May is my birthday month, which is exciting. I'm hoping to get a lot of good reading done, as always. And we're gonna dive into all the books that are going on my TBR for the month. And I have to make this quick because I gotta go pick up my kids pretty soon. So as always, let's start with the Patreon book club pick for May. Every month my patrons get to vote on a book that we read together. The genre rotates and for May we're reading a fantasy book. The book that won was The Nature of Witches by Rachel Griffin. I've heard really good things about this. It is a YA fantasy about a girl who's a witch with weather magic. I, I don't know a ton about this, but again, I've heard good things and I'm hoping it'll be a fun one for us to discuss. Editing Bethany here. I realized that I actually forgot a book. We added last minute one for Patreon that's like optional that was inspired by a movie watch night that we did recently. We watched the film Colette from 2018, which was fantastic. But what I didn't realize going in is that the movie is actually based on a true story of a woman who is an author. And so we thought, hey, wouldn't it be cool to read one of her books? And as it turns out, one of them is available in the Audible Plus catalog for free if you are an Audible member. So we're gonna be reading this book, The Vagabond, which actually is mentioned at the end of the film, which is really cool. So uh, looking forward to reading this book in translation with patrons. Then some of my higher level patrons get to periodically suggest books that they would like to see me vlog and then vote on which of those books I actually vlog. And for May, the winning book was The Sword of Kaigen by M.L. Wang. I don't own a physical copy of this book, but I do have an audio copy, so that's how I'm planning on reading this one. And I am excited to pick it up. It is an indie title that has done really well. I've heard a lot of great things about it from many people that I trust and respect their views on books. So very excited to see how this goes and give it a try. Next, let's talk about all the books for read-alongs, because as usual, I'm, I'm doing a bunch of them. In May, we're going to be finishing up our read-along for the Live Ship Trader series by Robin Hobb with Ship of Destiny. I am excited. I am currently in the middle of reading Mad Ship and loving it. I just adore Robin Hobb's writing. I'm loving the series and I am I am ready for my heart to be broken because she she likes to do that. So we'll be finishing this up in May with a live show. Then Leanna and I are continuing on in our year-long read-through of all the Sword of Truth books by Terry Goodkind. In May we're going to be reading Soul of Fire, which is book five in the series. So if you want to join us, the live show will be back on my channel for this month. Keep your eyes open for details to come. And then for Chapter 3 Podcast, which I co-host along with Izzy from Happy For Now and Leanna from Leanna's Library, Leanna and I are doing a year-long read-along of all the first law books by Joe Abercrombie. So in May, I'm going to be reading Best Served Cold. This was like maybe on my April TBR, but it's it's happening in May. I will be reading this towards the early part of the month because the episode comes out at the end of the month. But yeah, excited to finally read something new from Joe Abercrombie and see how I do with it. This is one of his standalones. Then I've got a couple of buddy reads I'm doing, one that has been pushed back a couple months, but I think we're actually going to make it happen in May. It's fine, although my, my partner in crime had a new job to deal with, so I no worries. I can always push it back. But Beth and I are going to be reading Shadow of the Gods by John Gwynn. I did start this and I was really interested in the first few chapters, so I'm excited to really dive in. And then with Jocelyn from Yogi with a Book, I'm going to be reading A Taste of Golden Iron by Alexandra Rowland. This did get pushed back to August, but I am so excited to read it. I've heard nothing but praise and it sounds amazing. It is a queer Byzantine inspired political fantasy romance with a bodyguard Prince romance. I'm here for it. I've had a couple people asking about when the purity culture video that I've talked about doing is coming. I am planning to have it go up sometime in May. I really, for my own mental health, needed to take a break from reading and talking about those topics, but I think I'm maybe ready to get back to it. So I'm tentatively planning to go ahead and finally read Talking Back to Purity Culture, Rediscovering Faithful Christian Sexuality by Rachel Joy Welcher, which I haven't necessarily heard great things about, but I think it'll be an interesting counterpoint 
to hashtag church to how purity culture upholds abuse and how to find healing by Emily Joy Allison. So I am planning to read these two books and then use those as the jumping off point to do a video discussing purity culture. So that will tentatively be coming sometime in May. Then I have three other physical books for review that I'm planning to read. One is A Lady for a Duke by Alexis Hall. This sounds really great. It is a historical friends to lovers romance with kind of a gruff hero and a trans heroine, which sounds really interesting. I am also going to be reading Name of All Things by Jen Lyons. This is the sequel to Rune of Kings, which I loved, and Tor very kindly sent me the entire series. So I'm going to be slowly making my way through these books and uh, very excited about it. I love, I love the snarky footnotes. I think it's going to be fun. And then my last physical arc is Daughter of Red Winter by Ed McDonald's. This is going on sale in July, and I won this in a giveaway from Tor. I'm excited for it. I love the cover. And I believe this is some kind of a beginning to a new series of grimdark fantasy. This girl can see and speak to the dead, which sounds interesting, a gift that comes with a death sentence. All her life she's hidden, lied, and run to save her skin and has made some spectacularly bad choices along the way, but it is a rare act of kindness, rescuing an injured woman in the snow that becomes the most dangerous decision Rain has ever made because the woman is fleeing from Red Winter, the fortress monastery of the Dreowin, warrior magicians who answer to no king and will stop at nothing to reclaim what she's stolen. Sounds very intriguing. I'm definitely excited to pick this one up. Lastly, I do have a few e-arcs from Neck Alley that I'm planning to read. I've got Our Crooked Hearts by Melissa Albert. This is like a YA gothic weird horror-ish fantasy book. I don't even honestly know, <laughs> know what the premise is that much, but the cover is fantastic and I have really enjoyed Melissa Albert's stuff in the past. So I know I looked at it and thought it sounded great. So I'm gonna be reading that. I have to run and pick up my kids. So I'm gonna quickly run through these. I, I may or may not remember all of the uh, authors off the top of my head, but they will be in the video description and you'll see a picture here. I have Fake It Till You Bake It, don't remember the author name, but it sounds amazing. Football player owns a bakery. The heroine said no to an engagement on reality TV and they fake date. It looks awesome and I hear it's hilarious. Go Hunt Me by Kelly DeVos, who writes great horror comedies. And this one I think has vampires and like a gothic estate. I am very excited. This is YA. A Matter of Temptation. I think this one is by Stacey Reed, a historical romance. I love her books. I don't even know what the premise of this is. I just saw she was writing one and I said, yes, I'm in, give it to me. Summer's Edge by Dana Melly. So excited we're finally getting something else from her because I adored her debut novel, Hella Queer and like Dark Academia Boarding School and Unreliable Narrator thing, um, which was fantastic. This one sounds kind of different, more summery vibes, but like the pitch sounds incredible. I'm excited. And then lastly, Half Built Garden. This is like a sci-fi fantasy blend that's being compared to Ursula K. Le Guin. Sounds great. By Ruthanna Chris, I think is the is the title. This one's coming out through Tor and I believe a debut if I'm not mistaken. So there you go. Those are all the books officially going on my TBR for May, keeping this short and sweet because I gotta go get my children. Um, yeah, talk to me in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts or feelings on anything I talked about. And for your question of the day, tell me about a series you wanna continue with. I feel like I'm doing some, some good series enders, series continuers, and I'm excited for that. What is a series that you really wanna keep going with? Let me know in the comments down below. If you guys like this video, it does help if you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wanna see more. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time.